What's up everyone, I'm PC, welcome back to the channel. In this episode of My Summer Car, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, show you guys what exactly the cabin is. Uh, it's a really, really interesting little island place that we're going to go check out today. So before we actually go to the cabin, I'm going to really quick do a cut and voiceover uh, of where you can find this cabin on the map and where you can find and download the map. Alright everybody, so here's the map for my summer car. Um, as you can see here is our uh, home right here. And then basically you go out from your home out to the, uh, to the uh, dock and then you take the boat over to the island. And as you can see, or, or as this map calls it, the uh, cottage. Um, as you can see, there's a save location, which is the uh, outhouse, um, as well as this just a little small island. Um, basically, I just come out, um, and then you go, like you're going to the shop up here, and uh, but you just uh, kind of divert to the island, and there it is. But as you can see, what I was talking about earlier, when you're coming back, it can be kind of, it can be kind of tricky. Um, I've gone down here before, thinking my house was like down here in this area, but your house is basically also on an island itself. It's on like a little uh, jetty. Um, or just inland. So, here you go. That's the map. I'll have it linked down in the description below. All right. Now you've seen the uh, map, and now that you know that you can find it in the link in the description, the map for my summer car anyway, and where the cabin is on that map. Uh, we're gonna get on our little bike. And this is how I recommend uh, recommend getting there anyway. Hopefully we don't run into our car. Okay. Yeah, we'll back up here a little bit. There we go. And then you just come down this path here, you see it? See how it's gray? We'll just come down this path here. You can also walk, but it takes a while. Um, but this right here leads down to a boat dock, if you don't already know. And there should, <laughs> if you haven't ever used it before, there should be a boat here waiting for us. Um, I've used mine quite a few times. It's also extremely helpful to go to the store and pick up groceries and uh, bring them back here versus having to drive all the way around. But this is basically it. And as you can see, even if you didn't watch the uh, or, or have the map, if you just look over here to the left, you can see over there is the, uh, it should be the store, where you can go get groceries, and then groceries, excuse me, and then if you look over, actually no, that's new. It's actually something new that he's put, I, used to, I don't think that used to be that way. Over there is the store, you can just barely make out the uh, red house there, and then over here is the cabin. And as you can see, that is an island, but all you want to do to get to it is just kind of jump in your boat, wherever it may be, and then it says enter driving mode, you click that, and then you just pull your little uh, starter deal here, and this is your engine shut off, and then you can push this down to go forward, or pull it up to go back, and uh, yeah, there we go. And if you have apparently a, a, a uh, like a G27, this still runs off of the keyboard and mouse. That's why I could figure out well, why we weren't going there. So if uh, you have uh, controllers hooked up, just remember that this may still run off of keyboard and mouse. But anyway, as you see, it's pretty self-explanatory to drive the boat. The boat does take fuel. It's two-stroke fuel. So I just usually leave one can in here um, because it takes about half a tank, I think, to go all the way to the shop. And uh, I think a quarter tank just to run to the cabin and back. But basically all you gotta do is just come out this way and aim your boat towards that red cabin looking thing and then you'll eventually get there. So I'll, I'll cut and make this a bit shorter um, and then I'll, I'll come back right as we're pulling up to the dock. Alright so now we're approaching the uh, boat dock here and basically all you want to do is just slowly creep up to the uh, boat dock or you can also pull up on the shore. Um, but this goes for over here as well. There's a boat dock right where my little dot is right in there somewhere and that leads to the shop as well as you can see the uh, church there in the background, um, but I just pull up next to it, and sometimes I'll even hit it, there we go, and then engine shut off, and then press enter to get out of driving mode, and then yeah, now you're on the dock, now that is for me, uh, I was trying to throw it over there, but it fell in, you can also get in the water, but just keep in mind you can't swim, so you might not want to go into the deep water. But this is empty. <laughs> Pollution! But uh, yeah, this is a cabin. It consists of one cabin and a outhouse, which is the save point. It's the same as any other save point. But uh, yeah, this is it. 
And now there's here's the thing that's different, okay? Let's walk in here. Here is the what the inside of the cabin looks like. There's no running water, there's no anything other than this candle. <laughs> there's basically nothing. And then if you walk out here and over here, what well, what's over here, right? This is the sauna. As you can see, this is a wood burning sauna. And you just put wood in here and light fire. And then, uh, yeah, that's basically it. This is the same thing as over at the house, except it doesn't have any running water to it, or, uh, and it, that one over at the house is electric. So to actually start the sauna, you need about three to four logs that you just chop up here, and then you can chunk them through that window, and then uh, start a fire, and then just start it fairly early, because it takes a while to warm up. But the other neat thing about this cabin, first let me show you this, though. Well, this is somebody showed me this on stream. I don't know if it's still here or not. Hopefully it is. But uh, this is basically what the dev has planned uh, for this cabin. If you come over here to the shoreline, you should... You may have removed it. I'm not sure, though. should be something over here somewhere. There it is. What? <laughs> if you guys know what it is already, you're champs. But uh, as you can see, there's a fish trap here. Now, it actually looks like we can open trap. No, okay, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Um, but basically what he has planned is now you'll be able to catch fish and then cook them either on the stove of the sauna or in the cabin's fireplace, which would be pretty neat. So there you go. That should be in your game uh, as well. It's just over here uh, behind the cabin over in that direction. But uh, let me walk back over here and I'll show you a really something that's really neat in the cabin here. Alright, so one reason I brought you guys over to the cabin is there should be a bucket somewhere. It's either somewhere, I can't remember, somewhere in here in the sauna or in here or somewhere out on the porch. You need this bucket and this lid if you ever want to brew uh, what's called Kill You. And that is basically like this game's version of Moonshine. And you can sell, uh, you can sell that and get, uh, get good money for it if you do it right. But we'll go over that in some other videos. But just know that you need that bucket if you ever plan on brewing any of that. Um, which is one reason I brought you guys over here. So you know you can see where to go and how to get the uh, the bucket for the kill you. But if you walk inside, and as you can see, I stocked up on a bunch of food. Which is really smart. And uh, as well as uh, these cases here. Um, because there's no running water. Uh, you can't drink water from out there. The only thing you can do with that water is for the sauna. You can fill that bucket up there from the lake water. But that's all you can do. You can't drink from it. So you need some uh, some other cases of beer here like I have. But um, anyway, up here on the mantle is this camera. Now, oops, I didn't mean to get on it. But if you click this camera and you take it outside, if you press F while holding the camera, boom! Now you're in camera mode. I'm just going to walk out here. And now if you press F again, you can left click is to zoom in right click to zoom out and then I believe middle mouse yeah as you see we just took a picture um, and it says the uh, date in the bottom left hand corner like uh, six something 1995 <laughs> so there you go you can take pictures of basically anything and you can also take this back to your uh, to your house so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna <laughs> drop it in the lake there but that's okay it shouldn't should affect it um, put it in the boat and then, yeah, that's basically the cabin. So all I'm going to do now is just drive back over to the house. Let me show you where that is. From here, you're basically uh, going to go to this little port on the island. Keep in mind that you basically live on an island as well. I went over here because I thought, you know, we are on the mainland over here. That's not where you are, your house is anyway. You live over here right where that clearing is. Um, that's where you live, so you want to go back there. And then there's the shop. So don't make the mistake I did. Don't go down this way. No. <laughs> um, that's just dead emptiness. But come over here. Your your island, like you, like you see on the map, um, is kind of stuck out in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, that's the cabin. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, this video. I uh, hope, hope you found it fun and, and uh, informative. But until next time, guys, take it easy. See ya.